Hello, welcome to Morris Money, where we give you stock tips in under five minutes. I'm your host, Morris Willie. Today, we're talking about should you buy Hanes brand, ticker symbol HBI. Before we start, it's the start of season eight, and you can obviously tell that a couple changes have gone on. One, this is no longer Tom Morris Willie, but Morris Money, they let me have the name rights to the channel. So if this season flops, I might be done with. But all that aside, let's begin with the video. Haynes Brands Incorporated is a consumer goods company that designs, manufactures, sources, and sells everyday basic innerwear and activewear apparels in the Americas, Europe, Australia, and the Asian Pacific. It operates through three main segments, innerwear, activewear, and international segments. The innerwear segment includes core apparel products like men's and women's underwear, children's underwear, socks and intimate apparel sold in the United States. Activewear includes activewear products such as t-shirts, fleece, performance apparel, sports shirts, and thermals sold in the United States. The company's international segments include innerwear, activewear, and home good products amongst many others sold outside of the United States and includes the following brands, Hanes, Champions, Bonds, Maidenware, DIM, Bali, Playtex, Bras and Things, amongst many others. The company left 2021 with a stronger business and financial foundation and a better long-term growth profile relative to its pre-pandemic position. Full year 2021 net sales ended 13% above 2019, adjusted operating profit of 14% higher than 2019, and adjusted earnings per share 26% above 2019. The balance sheet also strengthened with leverage declining to 2.7 times on a net debt to adjusted EBITDA basis. The company increased its 2024 revenue targets to approximately $8 billion, which includes an increase in champion brand sales to approximately $3.2 billion. The company adjusted operating margins increase to approximately 14.4% and cumulative three-year free cash flow increased to approximately $1.6 billion. The company also authorized a three-year $600 million share repurchasing plan. Net sales from continuing operations for Q4 ended at $1.75 billion, an increase of $63 million or 4% growth. That's all great, but let me tell you some other things I'm looking at here. The company also had insider purchases from the CEO and director, with the CEO buying about $500,000 worth of stock and the director acquiring around 6,000 shares. This is something that's always a positive. Having management own shares means that they're right here with the shareholders. Now, one thing that confused me was that while doing research, I came across many PE ratios around 7 to 8 percent but also 70 percent now this confused me and i'll continue to do research on it but if i'm not mistaken the trailing pe ratio is 70 and the forward pe ratio is around seven but always correct me in the comments below the company has an eight percent short float and a around four percent dividend so this is a great company to look at on tip ranks, the company is rated at a strong buy with a $21 price target and approximately 42% upside from here. So, what do you think on Haynes brand? Are you buying the company or are you going to put it on your radar? Either or, let me know below. Please don't take this video as financial advice and thank you for watching Morris Money.